Window assembly is usually the last and one of the most critical parts of the manufacturing process. This video shows that with minimum investment, you can reduce labor, improve quality, and increase production. We hope you find it useful. The central component of an assembly line is usually the squaring rack. Shown here is a rack designed for hung windows, sliders, and patio doors. It is tilted back for proper ergonomics and comes with a variety of options. Typically, rollers with the protective surface are placed on the bottom ledge. These rollers are on 10-inch centers but can be made tighter for smaller windows. The height of the ledge vary according to your needs. One option, however, is a pneumatic lift. With a flip of the lever, you can raise or lower the entire rack. This is an extremely helpful feature when producing a wide variety of different size windows or when your in-feed conveyors need to be at a different level than your squaring and assembly operation. Let's see how the entire process works. Gliding the window along the transfer conveyors, the window is moved into position. The optional retractable stops are flipped back into position, the brake is now released, and the squaring member is moved to the next jam and pressure is activated. All of this is accomplished with levers conveniently located on the squaring member, which applies pressure. Another design to consider is our open back rack for casements and French doors, which allows for easy testing during the assembly process. A complete system can be designed using transfer conveyors and conveyor racks. Vertical movement, however, is not the only method to transfer product. Horizontal conveyors, both free-spinning and powered with non-marking rollers, can be incorporated to move windows from fabrication to assembly and onto packaging. Flipping them is easy with the use of our pneumatic tilt transfer rack. The pneumatic tilt rack is used to transfer windows from the vertical to horizontal plane, where they can easily be mulled and moved to the next stage in the manufacturing process. As you can see, the bottom ledge is similar to our standard assembly rack with rollers on 10-inch centers. The left squaring member, however, applies the pressure with this design, while the right member, which also retracts, is used to align the window into position. Let's see how the whole operation works. The operator begins by tilting the table back into the vertical position to receive another window. Notice the small hooks on the bottom lip of the table used to hold the window while tilting. These hooks will nest inside the rollers when vertical. In this design, the hooks are fixed, but they can also flip down and out of the way when the table is horizontal. Next, the right-hand squaring member is glided towards the window, which has been vertically transferred to the table. The brake is applied, the squaring members are moved into position, and then slid against the window. Notice how easily the squaring member glides across the frame. Finally, the squaring members are retracted back into the frame to receive the next window. All of our assembly products are custom made, and by working with you, the customer, we can design a rack or a complete system to fit your needs. When looking at your assembly operation, don't forget about other productivity tools we can provide, such as work tables and window dollies. Remember, Wakefield Equipment is here to help. With years of experience in the industry, we can work within your budget to increase quality, profits, and production. Give us a call and let us help. Wakefield Equipment.